You guys are gonna have to pardon if I have chocolate in my teeth. I just finished eating a chocolate bar. Probably not the best thing to do when you're about to be on camera. aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today we are going to be talking about that product that has been hyped up till no end. It is the new Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. If you guys have been living under some sort of rock and have had no access to any type of social media and haven't heard of this product, Urban Decay collaborated with Gwen Stefani to release a palette of 15 eyeshadows. This palette retails for $58 and you can get it online on UrbanDecay.com. It's also available on Sephora.com and I'm pretty sure it'll be coming to Sephora stores and probably Ulta stores very soon. Now this collaboration was particularly exciting even more than the fact that it is Gwen Stefani. I mean, I guess we'll just fangirl for a moment. I love Gwen Stefani. I think she's amazing. She's an inspiration. I loved No Doubt. I love Gwen Stefani solo. I just watched her on Ellen last week and she's so relatable and personable and I just love her. Now with all the fangirling said and done, I will tell you guys that if you are big Gwen Stefani fans, you are going to want to pick this up. It's limited edition. It has Gwen's name on it. It has the Urban Decay quality. So you will probably love it. But I wanna make it very clear that this review is for someone who maybe doesn't really care that Gwen Stefani's name is on it and wants to know, is this honestly a good palette? overall, with or without Gwen's name, with or without the Urban Decay name, is this a palette you need in your collection? So that is where I'm coming from in this review. Please don't take it personally. I'm not trying to offend you or Gwen or anybody. This is just my opinion on the palette itself. So with all the disclaimers out of the way, this is what the packaging on the palette itself looks like. It is like a plastic top that's covering this kind of interesting polka dot type print. When I first saw pictures of this on Instagram, I didn't realize that this was actually the top of the palette. I thought this was like an empty eyeshadow palette that you could fill shadows in. Does that make any sense? It does say UD Gwen Stefani on the front on this like metal plate here, which I like. The back is a shiny gold that does hold fingerprints. And when you open up the palette, it does have a magnetic closure, which I really like. And it has these 15 shades. Now each of the shadows in this palette does contain 0.04 ounces of product or 1.4 grams, which is just a little bit smaller than a full size Urban Decay shadow. So in that respect, you are getting a really, really great deal. Also only three of the shadows in this entire palette are a part of the Urban Decay permanent collection. The other 12 are new and exclusive to this palette. I absolutely love the little finishing touches that this palette has. Like in the mirror, it's etched magics in the makeup and the names of all of the shadows are very Gwen Stefani-esque. As much as I love Gwen Stefani, I definitely don't feel like this palette as a whole is anything unique or anything you probably don't already have in your collection. If you guys have seen Gwen Stefani's makeup, she doesn't focus heavily on like super bright colored eyes. It's always about her lips. Her lips are always, most of the time, the statement of her makeup look. So I suppose it was only fitting that the colors she would put in the palette would be colors that she would actually use on her eyes. My number one concern when I first saw this palette and still after playing with it, it's still my concern is that for my skin tone, which is totally different than Gwen's skin tone, I feel like a lot of these colors come across as looking very similar. There are just so many light colors in this palette. And while there is a good 
variety of matte shades. You do have some nice matte colors that you would need to complete a whole makeup look. So before I give you guys my overall thoughts on this palette, I'm just gonna jump right into swatches of this entire palette. We will start with the top row. From left to right, we have Blonde, Bathwater, Skimp, Steady, and Pump. I would definitely say the first shade, Blonde, is the most unique one out of all five in this row. I know it doesn't seem like it from the swatch, but this is actually a really pretty iridescent gold to pink duochrome shade. This is the second row in the palette. From left to right, we have Baby, Anaheim, Stark, Zone, and serious. I think the first shade, Baby, is really, really pretty. That's a nice lid shade for my skin tone. And the other four shades are nice, kind of more on the matte neutral side. This is the last row in the palette. First, we have Pop, Harajuku, Danger, 1987, and Blackout. The first two shades in this row, Pop and Harajuku, are nightmares to work with, especially Pop. That shade is so chunky and glittery, and it's so fallout prone. I really don't like this shade, but the last shade, Blackout, is the best matte black, one of the best ones in my entire makeup collection. I think the overall texture and quality of the shadows for the most part are really good in this palette. The only two letdowns, like I said, were these two shades down here, Pop and Harajuku, but for the most part, all the other ones are pigmented, blendable, smooth, creamy, amazing to work with. My overall honest thoughts about this palette is that if it did not have Gwen Stefani's name stamped on it, I don't think I really would have looked twice at it. I think if you're a Gwen Stefani lover, a No Doubt lover, of course you're going to be excited about this palette and you definitely should pick it up. It's more of like a sentimental thing, but if you are just looking for perhaps a unique palette, something you don't already have in your collection, I don't think this is the palette for you. However, if the colors in this palette did interest you and you just wanted to know if it was a good quality palette overall, yes, I do feel like the quality of the palette overall is very good. So that is pretty much all I have to say on this new Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette. Am I happy to have it in my collection? Yes, because it's Gwen Stefani. And I also just wanted to let you guys know that inside the box, which how cute is the box of the palette? Oh, it's gorgeous. But inside the box, there was a little preview card of the upcoming Gwen Stefani lipstick collaboration with Urban Decay. They give you four samples in this little pack here, but there are actually eight colors that are coming out. So I'll just give you guys a little sneak peek at that and I may or may not have a lip swatch video once the new lipsticks come out. We'll see. Thank you guys so, so much for watching my video and I hope it was helpful to those of you guys who were perhaps on the fence on whether or not you wanted to purchase this palette. Let me know what you guys think of the palette and whether or not you already got your hands on it. Let me know in the comments down below and I will talk to you guys in my next video on Monday. I will see you then. Bye. Seen at Ulta. I have not seen it at Sephora, but the Jaclyn Hill palette I have only seen channel. You guys know that these Stila Stay All Day liquid lipsticks are probably my favorite.